what's going on guys in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the RFID sensor with the Raspberry Pi in this case we're using a RC522 um, sensor so any variant or generic sensor that you can find on eBay or Amazon will work for this tutorial so the things that you're going to need for this tutorial include a Raspberry Pi 3 <coughs> an RC522 kit so that usually includes the sensor the headers and then two tags usually a card and some key tag that you get so the first thing that you're going to need to do is physically solder the headers onto the sensor so uh, go ahead and do that and then you're also going to need to hook up the eight female to female jumper cables so once you have that all set up um, we're going to go ahead and um, plug the header pins into the Pi. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is get the SDA pin and plug that into the physical pin 24, which is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, it's the ninth pin on the top row from the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then you're going to need to plug in the SCK pin, which is pin 20, physical pin 23, and that is um, right across from 24. So if I fall along here, should be right across. I apologize um, <coughs> if this is a bit confusing, but you know, plugging pins in is the hardest part. So with that said, let's go ahead and continue. So the next thing we need to plug in is the MOSI pin, and that's plugged in the physical pin 19. And 19 is located across from 20, which is two pins above 23. So one, two. So I take this purple female header and plug it two above. There we go. So now that that's done, we need to plug in MISO to pin physical pin 21. And 21 is located below 19. So that's easy. Um, let me go. Let me just make sure here that we're following the order correctly. So this blue pin goes in between these two. If I can just get in there. Whoop. There we go. <clears throat> so MISO's in and then ground. Ground is pin six, but ground is MISO or right, so ground is the yellow pin here, which is the third pin from the right so we're actually skipping a pin the green pin which I believe is RS no it's not RST but R um, yeah so anyways it's in sequential order it's hard for me to read the what's on the pin header but we ha what we've done so far includes SDA, SCK, MOSI, MISO. You're gonna skip the next pin and hop on over to ground, um, which in my case is this yellow pin, and then plug it into ground, which is the third pin on the top row. And then you're con gonna continue to RST, which is plugged into physical pin 22, and 22 is located one above 24. 
So I have this orange pin, one above 24 is 22. So one above white, in my case, is starting to get a bit hairy, but we'll make do. That is done. And finally, the last pin we have is 3.3 volts, which is pin one on the second row of the Raspberry Pi headers. And that's pretty much it. That's the wiring that you need. So uh, there's eight, I believe there's eight available pins on the RC522. You actually only need seven, so that middle pin, let me see if I can read it here give you guys more concrete M O S I M I S O I R Q so I R Q is a is not needed in this uh, wiring setup so now that that's done let's go ahead and head over to the computer there's a few things we need to set up before we can start interacting with the device so let's go do that Okay, so I have SSH into my Pi. I'm running a bone stock Raspbian installation. The first thing that you're going to want to do is enable the SPI interface. So you're going to type sudo raspy-config and then navigate to interfacing options and then go ahead and select this fourth option here, which is the SPI interface and enable it. So you'll get a get some feedback saying that the interface is enabled go ahead and go down to finish uh, you're gonna want to reboot this so the changes take place so type sudo reboot it's gonna take a quick second for the device to come up again but um, once that's done we're gonna go ahead and uh, check to see that the changes took place I'm just going to restart session real quick. It's already come up. So now we're going to type lsmod. Um, I believe this is pipe grep SPI. And then you're going to look for this SPI underscore BCM2835. So we know that the that um, the BCM2835 is loaded. So now we can go ahead and continue. So the next thing you're gonna need to do is install Python 27 dev So to do that, we're gonna type sudo apt-get install python 2.7-dev and hit enter and let that run. for yes I download all the required files and give it a quick minute Perfect, so now that, that was successful, we're gonna go ahead and download the uh, git project for the SPI interface. So we're gonna type git clone git clone https github.com u3-spi.py.git um, then you're going to change directory to change directory to spi-py, and then finally you're going to type sudo python setup.py install. Don't worry, all the these links will be posted on the website in the description below this YouTube video. So not to worry there. So now that that's done, we've installed. <coughs> that git project. We're also going to need to install the MFRC 
522 Python project, so it's also going to require git. So we can just go ahead and get out of this directory git clone github mfrc522 python git. We're also going to need to change the directory to mfr python. So now you should be set up and everything should be in place for you to read from the RFID sensor. So now all that we need to do is run the Python script. I'm going to type ls so you can see what's contained in this directory. Um, so you have a read and you have a write script. So we're going to go ahead and run the read script. So all we're going to do there is type python read.py. I think <laughs> I actually have my RFID card really close to it so it's already reading it as you can see but that's a good sign that it's working um, yeah so that's that's it's a pretty straightforward tutorial here um, I'm just showing you the bare essentials to read from the card as you can see right here sector 8 um, and then all the contents within the card mm. I'm not entirely sure on how you would go about writing to the cards. I'm sure you guys have questions on like, for example, how would I take my name and then like, you know, write that to the card and then read that back. Um, but you can go ahead and take a gander at the read and the write scripts and modify it to your liking um, and then adapt it to your use case. But essentially that's pretty much how you get the RFC 522 to set up with the Raspberry Pi. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. If you have um, any questions or comments, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, like and subscribe, that's always appreciated. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for upcoming content. Peace.